Jada calling him the whiff. And Joe, oh god, we can't even see Joe. <laughs> Damn. I'm too black. And Leah and them are over there. <laughs> Let's see if we can see Mario. He's brown. We kind of see Mario. Between. <laughs> god. I know, this lighting's not good. I know, it's bad. <laughs> But it's a theater, you guys. How cool. Hey guys, so it is what? 4, 4.40. And we're gonna get on the freeway right now. We have Lewis in the back. Yeah, Lewis Hi. on board. And I gotta show you guys something. Lewis and Jada did not plan this outfit. We're just always in sync. They're always in sync. It's just natural. Yeah. So Jada has the beautiful white dress with red accessories. Red shoes, red belt, red hair. And Lewis in white. I'm in the red dress and I have like white nail polish, a black uh, jacket, <laughs> fix my jacket. And Joe's like in this burgundy red. Yeah, it's like, oh, they're up here, right? And we're in the, um, what's this thing called again? Kia. We're in the Kia Sedona. Everybody's all. Right to merge onto I All I know, I want a burger after you. At 10 o'clock at night, you want a burger? I want it. Oh, you cray cray. I want it. <laughs> you cray cray. I want Froyo. I'm sorry, we're young. <laughs> <laughs> and steal a car from you? Yeah. No, savage. See, Jada does think she's better than me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna use two shy bladder cats to steal yeah. again. It feels like it took us three hours to get here. That's because it did. I smell popcorn already. Oh, check it out. They're on the marquee. Joe, they're on the marquee. All right, guys. So, Please. look, see? Hogan, world premiere tonight. See? That's awesome. Jada calling him the whiff and Joe, oh god, we can't even see Joe. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I'm too black. And Leah and them are over there. <laughs> Let's see if we can see Mario. He's brown. We kind of see Mario. Between. <laughs> god. Other people like doing things. Like and it's still crappy.
Damn, that his head is shiny, Jory. You can never lose him in a sunny day. Watch that truck. The truck that's like a million feet away from me? That yep. Mm-hmm. Then I'm not looking for the input lead put on that's all my son. Costco day today, guys. Costco day today. Oh my god, it hot today. It hot. When we went into the two fridge in Costco, nobody wanted to come out. Joe didn't even send me in there by myself this time. It hot. How much you on beat today, Jory? 94. We know you turned on 94. Last week Monday we had 60. <laughs> On my way home, guys. Pick a side. Sorry. So. Um. So let me tell you what happened. So we went to the movie premiere last night, right? I'm sorry. I'm trying to clean up the mess that Jada's making as she cooks because I did not have a show to put at the cooking channel tomorrow. And Jada says, I'm making chicken marsala. Is it marsala? Parmesan. Chicken parmesan. What is chicken marsala? Where it's, chicken it from? it's tikka masala. It's what? Yeah, tikka masala. So what is that? It's like an Indian dish. Uh huh. And it's like so spicy and yummy. What I really wanted to do today, guys, was something else with flan. And um, but I didn't have the eggs, so I had to go to Costco. And now that I have the eggs, I don't have the energy to do all this. So thank God for Jada, and thank goodness that I, I trained these children to help me with the show. So that's how come you guys are getting a video tomorrow, okay? <laughs> and the most haphazard videos are usually the one that comes out the best. How many people know that? Like when you're making dinner or something and you just kind of rush it or maybe even a cake and you just kind of rush it last minute that's when it comes out great so joe keeps going in and out the garage because he's doing something outside anywho back to the story at hand we went to the premiere and in our car as you can see earlier it was lewis jada uh joe and myself Colin rode back home with us later because Leah and Kevin and mom came and they had to walk out of the movie because the movie was too sexually explicit in its language. It offended uh, mom's ears and you guys know that mom's 89 years old. But that's why I didn't invite Leah and them to go. But then Colin, when I said, mom, let's go. And so they came and I'm like, oh God, oh God, oh God. So then Sherry Shepard did not end up coming because she has an inner ear infection. And she was on her way already. You know, she texted me to say she was on her way. And then she had to turn back because she started to get dizzy. So poor Sherry, she can't hear out of one of her ears right now. She's going to something today for her, um, her job. You know, because her show got picked up, the one with John Lithgow. What's that show called again? Trial and Error? Trial and Error. Trial and Error got picked up for a second season. Yay! So, but you know what? All's, in, all's well oh, that yeah. ends well. Because after I got there, because the last two movies that the boys made, it was very sexually explicit in the language. But this one, I wondered if they had cleaned it up a bit because it said on Facebook it was kid friendly. And so the movie was great, but it wasn't kid friendly. You know, so at, at first I, I was hoping Mario wasn't offended, but he goes, no, it went with the storyline. I totally understand the artistic leeway that the, that the boys took. He was so excited to meet them. They were excited to meet him. And because I've told him forever about Mario, you know, that he's he's pretty and that he's buff. He works out. Yeah, he's he's he really good. buff right now. And they're like, oh my god, this you know, I'd see you on TV all the time. We're so happy to meet you. Come on. They treated us really well. Jo Jada and I both went on the red carpet. The reason you don't see me on the red carpet is because my dear sweet Mario was buying snacks and my husband stood there with the camera in his hand. He's not Joe today, he's my husband. That's what he is when I'm mad at him. So <laughs> he stood there with the camera in his hand. The lady's interviewing me. The lady was so happy to meet me because she was a fan of my show. 
I was like, oh my God, this works every way that it, it could work. It was such an organic interview. I hope that found and uh, posted on Facebook. And um, Joe says, oh my God, I dropped the ball. You know, he was apologizing. He goes, I dropped the ball, I had the camera, what I remembered it, and I took it and I put it on, and then it was blurry, and then you were done. So thank God for Mario. We have a picture of Jada. The lady uh, that you saw in the picture earlier with the hat on or the little cap on, I don't know who she, I, she's Charlene something. She, she friended me on Facebook today, so now I'm going to know who she is. But she watches the show. And then Ja and Farron's mom took a picture with me. And, oh, I forgot to ask her what she was wearing. That lady smelled good. Okay. It's very seldom that I, I'm near somebody and they're wearing a cologne that doesn't offend me. She smells so good. I was going to tell her, Mama, you smell good. What you wearing? <laughs> Watch it be the smell of food. <laughs> but it didn't smell like that. It smelled like, what's, what's Britney Spears' first cologne that I loved? Curious. curious. It smelled like Curious. I just can't find Curious Do you like the one I have? I have a Britney Spears one. I don't have it on right now. I gotta check because I only love Curious and I love nothing else. I like Britney Spears' fragrance. They're they're yeah, nice. they're mild. They're mild and nice. Maybe not like put that like in the fridge. So, it's, it's so weird that I remember what she smelled like. Yeah. And she came with her phone and she did a selfie. I hope I get to see that selfie. I'm gonna go have to ask for on. If I ever see it in the future, I'll post it in another video. You know, they do but, say we, we're attracted to smell first before looks. Yeah, yeah. So um, the, the boys, they got into a movie, a movie house some way, somehow. It was dark when I recorded earlier with all of us sitting. And I'm so proud of them because it's hard to get into a movie house. That's the first one. And um, the movie uh, screened on the big screen. The quality was good. The sound quality was good. I liked how they put Jada's song in the thing. They played almost the whole song. Um, so Mario was just like, I'm glad I sat next to you because I could tell him little tidbits like, um, you see the jail? It's like this big. That jail cell is like this big in your backyard. You see this part? That's the backyard. You see this? That's over by the YouTube studios. You see? And he's all like, it was like watching a, ma a magician do their tricks and having somebody right next to you telling you what the tricks were about. He goes, it was so much fun. Mario came. He really had a great time with us. And I'm so happy that he came. And I'm so, even though I was disappointed for one quick minute that Sherry had to turn back, I was like really grateful that she wasn't there because I don't know if she would have been able to tolerate the language because the, the play that Sherry's putting off, it does have explicit language, but it's just profanity. Who would have thought we would have had to come to a day when we could distinguish, right, Jada? Is it just profanity or is it just violence that makes that an R rating? Is it sexually explicit language or is it nudity? So this, they had no nudity at all, but it was definitely sexually explicit language. And I think that movie would probably get an NC-17 rating if I was rating it. Mm -hmm. I don't know what all chords you have to hit to get an R versus an NC-17, but I imagine they would clean up the language if it gets picked up by the film festivals and stuff. They'll do, they know what to do. They're doing the same thing. So it was an amazing, as my daughter would say, doesn't, she's glistening with sweat while she's helping me do, well, I'm recording her doing a show. She ain't helping me do nothing. I'm it recording. was my <laughs> dinner. <laughs> when I saw that she was making something that I never presented at the channel already, I'm like, can I record it? Because I am so tired. I have no video for tomorrow. Um, do what um, Mama June do. Throw that sucker against the wall. Okay. I think that's done because that's not the, um, the healthy one, so it'll be done quicker. Just give me the thing and taste it. Cheese. I see where I get my bossiness from. They're done. <laughs> it won't come out now. So, Jada, did you like your song in the movie? Yay! Yes! Yes! <laughs> Let's show it. She's just in the pasta. <laughs> I'm so glad that Jada decided to do that dish and that I had enough power juice left in the battery for the camera in order to record it. It's all in a can now, as they say in the film industry. You guys know what that means, right? Whenever they say some things in the can in the movie industry, it doesn't mean this type of can, the bathroom that I'm in. And of course, I'm in the bathroom because of the good lighting, and I don't want to go turn on any lamps to finish up this vlog. What it means when they say that it, the movie or the film's in the can, it's the actual can that they put it in after they record the film. So I know a lot of things are done digitally now, but you know, back in the olden days, everything was done on film. And before it even got edited, it had to be stored safely in a metal tin or can with a little lid that's flat and round just like the reel of film. And that's what it means when they say it's in the can, all right? So um, what can I say about this weekend? It was an amazing weekend. Um, I think everything turned out the way it was supposed to turn out. Even though, like I said, for a quick second, I was kind of disappointed that Sherry didn't end up coming. 
um, I'm glad that she was able to get back home safely and I'm glad that she's feeling a lot better today because she still has to go see her doctor tomorrow because she has, you know, deafness in the one ear because of the ear infection. Poor Sherry, you know, I had to say a prayer for her uh, last night and this morning. I'm sorry that, um, you know, my friend Leah and mom and Kevin got subjected to that kind of language that they couldn't bear. Uh, had I known that they were coming, I would have warned them. But I didn't know they were coming. I think it was meant to be a surprise. So, <clears throat> you know, they got, to, um, they got to walk out. You know, one time, Leah and Kevin invited us to see a stand-up comedian, but they really wanted to see the guy that was opening for the stand-up comedian, and the guy was, like, super clean, and the stand-up comedian was nasty, filthy, dirty, sexually explicit. And I wanted to walk out so badly, but I couldn't. None of us could, because if you're right under the stage like this, and that comedian's like going off, and you get up and walk out, they they're gonna clown you. So we had to endure that. So I'm at least glad that they were able to leave, you know, and go back home, because I would never want 88 or 89 year old mom to be subjected to that, to that kind of stuff. But like I said, if I knew they were coming, I would have warned them, you know, because I didn't think those guys cleaned up the language. I didn't hear that they did. But I would, I, I think I kind of hoped that they would have because it was a boxing movie, you know. So that would be my only little complaint. Other than that, I think they're getting better and better at editing. They're getting better and better at throwing these premieres. And I think just like Tyler Perry, eventually we'll see these boys rise to the top, you know. So by the way, you remember I did my little crash dieting thing. Well, I hate to call it a crash diet because I didn't starve. I did two days of fruits only till 3 o'clock. I, I guess that could consider raw, raw till four, raw till three. You know, there's a diet that goes that way. And then I ate my regular meals with good carbs, vegetables and stuff. And then the next day I did just meat and, well, protein, protein and vegetables for all of my meals till the dinner meal. That's when I had my fruits. And I didn't cheat on anything. I didn't drink no Milo, no ice cream, no nothing. And I lost six pounds that I was able to fit so su superb in that dress that I felt comfortable. No matter how I turned, if I turned this way or I turned that way, I felt really um, at peace with myself, you know. Again, I was glad that Mario came. And I think it was a blessing in disguise that Sherry didn't come because I could devote all my time to Mario. And he really felt special. You know, the young men that do the films are like, Mario, we'd like you in one of our next films. Would you consider it? You know, he's so beautiful and he's buff and everything. And he's so so easy to get on with, you know? So uh, I think all's well that ends well. I think it turned out to be the best. So it's Sunday evening, like around 6.30. I'm gonna go finish editing this so I can edit the video for the cooking channel tomorrow. I wanna work on something so good for Wednesday. Let's see if I can get it. You know, I, I didn't try the recipe before, so I have to test it, you know what I mean? So anyways, guys, I will see you tomorrow night. Thank you so much for watching the show. All I ever ask for you to do is thumbs it up and comment. If you share it, you share it. If you don't want to share it, you don't have to. You know, we're not making our living here at this vlog. We're just hanging out, right? So um, I'll see you guys tomorrow night. So this is a 2-4, the 20th, 2-4. 2 fur. It's a 2 fur. The 20th and the 21st. When I get tired, I go back into my Creole and I don't even care. Um, the guy in Belize, the TV guy, we're going to talk on Tuesday. He got tied up with this big wedding with his niece over the weekend, and they have a long weekend in Belize this weekend for Commonwealth Day, I think. Um, I, th I could be wrong. I forget some of the Belizean holidays. And we have a long weekend coming up next weekend. So, But he says we'll talk on Tuesday, so I think it'll turn out to be, like, great. You know, it'll turn out to be good because he's, he's really talking business-like. He says we'll talk and we'll put, um, we'll put a proposal together. So let's see what he's offering, you know? Anyways... See y'all tomorrow night. Bye! When the red button is on? Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys, see, I'm doing it. This is very pretty. It's pretty. He's, he doesn't want to go back on the boat. Splash. Splash? Yeah.